Okay, we're going to look at relativizing a um, graphic real quick in N4, uh, including a history link. So right now you see I'm on a VAV here in our ASI network, and it's blank. So I'm going to go up here and click Edit. Um, let's say I want to bring in my zone temperature. And I can just drag it and drop it on there, and zone temp. I don't think I actually got it. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, my mouse has been weird today. So intent. Look at that. Okay, bound label. Yep. Out dot values. Fine. Border. Sure. Make a display name label. Yep. So now we have a nice little zone temperature. So, and if you double click on that, you notice the full word in there. So the station. It is a bound label. It has a value binding to it currently. ACID one BV one points zone temperature. So for right now, uh, if we go to all right, let's say we want to save that, and now we're going to go to VAV2. You notice we get a zone temperature, but if I hit edit, it does have VAV1, which doesn't work for me. So I'm going to go back there. All right, so edit, and there's a nice little button right here. It says relative average awards. Click it, and it'll give you a list of them. We only have one point, so it's only going to do one. I'm going to hit OK, and if I double click on that now, you'll see it's now relativized slot point zone temp which is cool. And then if I go to uh, Views Modified, yes, I want to save it. And now 179 degrees because I don't have a, a sensor or a sensor shorted or whatever. So you can see it is pulling the different ones. Uh, but one of the things you might want to add to it too is if you go in here and see my zone temp, I also have a history. And if I scroll down to my histories, you see my JACE here. So history, ASI, uh, ASIC template station, Expand that. Here's my VAV1 zone temp. There's my VAV2 zone temp. I'll double click on that. Um, what I want to do is come up here and add another binding. And I'm going to add a, uh, an advanced, enhanced hyperlink binding. All right, and then you won't see it off the bat probably, but if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see it here now. And basically under ORD, we want to type spot colon. Hit OK. And then under slot path, we're going to type history uh, colon forward slash in the name of the JACE or the station, ASIC template station. And it is important you get the, that right. And then forward slash. And then you'll do something like percent name, percent. And then mine, you notice, has a dash in it. So the representative for a dash is, of course, dollar sign 2D. And then I can put zone temp. Now what that represents is, there's my, my history, uh, ASIC template station, that's the station name. Name is in there because what, that percent name in my, I can't highlight right now for some reason, but here. Percent name percent, and you'll notice it says VAV1. So what I'm doing is copying, or I'm relativizing it by saying use the device name. All right, so... Uh, percent name and then this next little piece dollar sign 2d is the dash or the hyphen that's in there and then zone temp is the next piece that is this piece right here zone temp after the hyphen and you notice vav1 zone temp vav2 zone temp so that should relativize it and we should have a nice little link there hit ok and i'm going to hit save go to edit and not found, which means I got something wrong. Oh yeah, all right, see, so it is case sensitive. ASIC T, capital E, that's incorrect. So go back here, scroll down, go right there. And if I change that to be a lowercase, I bet it'll work. Okay, and save, and looky there. The, the zone temp one, if I go to number two, there's my 179 degree temperature, which is different. Click on that, guess what? The AV2 zone temp. So now we have a relativized history. There is one thing you have to do to make that work. It's very simple. If you go to your services right here, you notice Vicon Pro service. If you don't have the Vicon Pro service installed, the uh, enhanced value binding will not work. You can find that by just going here and typing in uh, Vicon to open a new palette, Vicon Pro. 
and take that service and drop it on your services. Simple as be. It may tell you when you do that that you have a module that needs to be installed. Either select OK if it'll allow you to install it then, or write it down and go up and uh, transfer the module on your station using your software manager. And that's that.